Hey, this is Jeremy from FunWithWheels.com, and today I'm going to show you how to swap a stock Toyota Tacoma key fob into the AJT Design aftermarket key fob. So here's the stock Toyota key fob, and we have the physical key. Just press the release button and pull the key out. We're going to use that key to pry the case apart. So slide that back in the keyhole and then turn it sideways. That'll pop the case apart. Do this carefully because the innards can pop out. And the same procedure if you're going to change the battery. We can see our, our battery hanging out there on the board. And then now we have a little membrane. We'll set that down. And you can see that it's oriented uh, where it lines up with the buttons. And now we'll remove the buttons one by one from the casing. I like to set them down in the order so I know which order I'm going to put them in the new case. Uh, the thing to pay attention to with the buttons is there's a little ridge on some of these, and so they will slide in there uh, a certain direction um, with the, the ridge down so that it sits nice and flush in the case. On the Tacoma Key 5, you can take a look, and you'll see that the lock, unlock, and panic buttons go in in that order. So you can always kind of flip it over and check out where you are, or even better, grab your spare key and you can look and see what order they are in. Make sure when you put the board back on that there's the two buttons on the top and one button on the bottom, or the battery facing the bottom in this case. So I like to have the whole sub-assembly ready to go before we monkey around with the lever. This lever is spring-loaded, and it sits on a hinge point. There's a little pin molded into the plastic and so essentially you're gonna push it into the plastic and slide that's gonna keep the key on there when you slide the key down keeps that from popping out so the little coil spring next to the screws is seated in there and then we'll put the button on top of that once that's assembled you're gonna want to hold that in place and then combine the two pieces together. Once you do that, you want to hold the two pieces together and it's helpful to start with the screw nearest the button to keep that whole assembly nice and firm so that it doesn't pop out of place. You want to go slow with these screws. It is just threading into plastic so you don't want to thread super hard or use any Loctite or any other chemicals on these. We'll speed up watching me put the other three screws in here. It's pretty straightforward. Like I said, just tighten them all evenly and don't over tighten. Once that's all assembled, go ahead and slide the key in there a couple times. The first few times you use the release button, it's going to be a little stiff. You've got some new plastic parts that have to break in, so I like to click it through a couple times just make sure everything's working smoothly. And here you can see the two side by side. And here's a stock Tacoma key fob next to the new AJT design key fob. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please click like and subscribe and feel free to comment below.